Well, y'all remember how the men used to say it's cheaper to keep her? Well, now it's looking like the men are saying it's cheaper to leave her. So all across social media, I've been coming across so many men gaining their power back, their freedom back, their health back, their peace back by ditching what no longer serves them, right? Leaving behind women that took them for granted, that took advantage of them, that did not appreciate what they were able to offer and contribute into that marriage or relationship. And it's looking like not only are these men learning very valuable lessons, but they're also in this mode of flourishing and actually doing bigger and better things outside of the marriage or outside of the relationship. Like a lot of these guys, they seem to be more happier than they've ever been. And that's why I started off this dope discussion saying, that a lot of men are now under this impression of it's cheaper to leave her. And the reason why I'm saying that it's cheaper to leave her is because nothing is worth your peace of mind, your sanity, your health, your finances, your happiness, you know, all of those different things. And a lot of men are drawing that conclusion. Like, look, if I have to ditch you and leave you in my past in order for me to really blossom and flourish, then that's what I'll do. Because no amount of money, no amount of heartache, no amount of stress and depression is worth me being able to live my best life. And you all, when I share my screen with you all, you all also will be blown away by the life transformations that a lot of these men are having after their breakups and divorce. And let me say this, okay? And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, okay? But let me say this, you all. I am in no way, shape or form promoting the demise of a relationship or, or a marriage for that matter, you know, especially not a marriage because marriages are supposed to be till death do you part. You know, marriage is supposed to exemplify you finding your person that completes you or at least adds on to your life in a beautiful way that you don't see a life worth living without them. You know what I mean? And so as a happily married woman myself, even, you know, I, I just really could not fathom the idea of me and my husband separating or doing life apart, you know? So I'm in no way to perform promoting that. However, okay, I have to be real enough and I have to be honest enough to say that I am absolutely for somebody leaving behind something that is toxic, that is destructive, that is counterproductive, that is not healthy for their overall well-being. So leave it behind. I don't care if you all have children. I don't care if you all have a lot of history. I don't care about how many years you all have invested. If things are toxic, it's toxic. You know what I mean? And you got to know that whatever toxicity that your relationship is exuding is definitely going to impact not only you all, but everybody around you, children included. So I'm all for, you know, dissolving things that are, again, unhealthy for you, things that do not bring neither party peace, love, fulfillment, the whole nine. So, you know, as somebody, like I'm saying, that advocates for healthy, thriving, surviving relationships and marriages, I am not going to stand by and say that I feel like it's okay for somebody to stick in a relationship or stick in a marriage that is just toxic <laughs> you know it's no other way to put that um and so i thought it would be very very beneficial for us to get into this video right here and hear from the men as far as how they are deciding to deal with 
their breakups, deal with um, their divorce and ultimately help other men out there as well. Because it, believe it or not, you all, there are so many men out there that are sacrificing their health, their peace, their freedom, their happiness, all for the sake of sticking by this woman or sticking by this family that, again, is proven to be something that is just not worth sticking around for, you know, because if you're unhappy and you're unhealthy, you got to know that it is going to have a trickle down effect. And so fellas out there that may be going through a certain situation yourself, I want you all to take heed to what these men are saying in these videos and hopefully take the best parts and apply it to yourself because you never know how this could actually impact your life for the better as well. Okay. It does not have to be the end of the road. It does not have to be the end of your life. Okay. It is all just a new beginning. And these men actually break that down in these clips as well. All right. But again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into this. All right. Let's blow this up for you all so you can see. Okay. Let's play. No, when you go through a divorce fam, Folks be expecting you to walk around, be sad, be butt hurt, be talking about the, uh, the 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 one you was with and wanting to fight for your family back, and 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 making all of these subliminals on social media. They be wanting all that to go down, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, folks be like, I'm surprised you were so happy, like. For how much that you, you know what I'm saying? You put it to your woman. I know you love your woman. You love your family. I said, yeah, I did everything I could. You feel me? You know, you know, you can walk away with your head high when you know you love with everything you had. And you can wipe your slate. Of course, I'm proud about it. You know what I mean? Of course, it hurt. Of course, it broke my heart. You know what I mean? Nobody builds a family just to see it break apart. And I think that is something very highlight worthy to point out. You know, he started off saying like, look, oftentimes when you're going through a divorce or you're going through some kind of breakup, people expect for you to be bitter and angry and, you know, throw a lot of slick shots at your ex and all of that. And he's like, no, I've been there. I've done that. You know, I can take pride in knowing that I've loved my best you know i've given my all you know i'm way too mature i'm way too evolved to stoop that low and so i personally want to salute all of the men out there that are taking that more mature and honorable approach you know you're not out here trying to throw salt on anybody's name throw them under the bus make them seem like they're the bad guy it's like you know what things happen and I'm going to continue to progress for with my life. I'm not going to sit here moping around, trying to point the blame or point the finger. I'm just going to take whatever life has thrown my way and I'm going to make the best of it. So salute to this brother right here for saying that. OK, and I really do feel like a lot of women. They try to make it out to be this thing to where a lot of the men are angry and they are bitter and they are trash. And it's like, no, these guys, they just realize their worth. They realize their value. And if they are involved with a woman that is not going to appreciate their worth and their value and add on to their lives in a productive and positive way, hey, I got to go. You know, but I can rest knowing that I gave it my best. I did my all you know and i feel like that is something very highlight worthy for a lot of you men to take away if you know that you've done nothing but stand by this woman pour into your family love your woman love your family and you did the absolute best that you could do and it still crumbled make sure that you are holding your head up high knowing that you did your best you know don't feel defeated and even he said, like, look, you know, of course we don't want to build up a family just to watch it crumble and fall apart. Like nobody likes that. Nobody wants to do that. But if, again, it's um, impeding on your overall health and well-being, you got to let it go. 
And again, feel good about letting it go, knowing that you did the best that you possibly could. All right. But let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. And y'all let me know, can y'all relate to this brother? Are you in a situation like him to where people are expecting for you to be mopey and upset and salty and throw shade and all of that and, you know, be real nasty and catty? Let me know. Um, and also let me know how you are handling, handling that yourself. You know, I hope you all are not walking around angry and bitter and trying to make yourselves look like the good guy in the situation and, and, and condemning that woman. I hope you all are maneuvering very maturely in that breakup. But nonetheless, I do look forward to seeing what you all have to say. And even if you are not currently in this type of situation, have you been in this type of situation and how did you handle it? Let us know. And hopefully y'all can help each other out. Okay. But let's continue. But when you know you did everything you could, you just look up and you smile and you go on to the next thing. A guy shows you how everything that you poured into a, a, a situation, you poured into a person, you poured into a family dynamic, he's going to use all of that energy for something that's even a greater good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't be focused on what I poured in and what I feel like I may have lost. You know what I mean? I invested in something that I believed in and God honors that. And he still honors that. By saying, son, I saw what you did with your family. I saw you lead. I saw you protect. I saw you take care of. I saw you nourish. I saw you raise children. I saw you be consistent in those matters. And I'm going to bless you with whatever it is he blesses you with. And I only focus on the blessings for being who I was in the marriage. And I'm still getting blessings now because of who I was in the marriage. So, no, I don't be all sad and butthurt that I'm, that I'm single and I'm out here by myself, so to speak. Like. I don't because when you did everything you could to love a person and it didn't work, you could walk away peacefully and know that, man, what are the lessons I need to learn? Okay. How do I need to level up? How do I need to grow? And you take those lessons and you say, it ain't even about another person. It's about, I'm about to love myself the way I love my family unit. And that's just the place I'm at. And it feels good to love myself. You know what I mean? Like, I feel so happy just being in love with myself. Like, anything else is extra. Because I love myself. And we got to focus on loving ourselves and stop jumping into the next thing. And just love yourself, bro. It's an amazing feeling. Everything I tell you on these apps, I'm speaking from experience, from testimony. You know what I'm saying? I'm not telling you nothing I'm not living. That's it. That's the post. I love that. I love everything about what this brother broke down and said. You know, he said, look, I'm just continuing to pr progress forward with my life. I'm not going to let anything hold me back. I know that I was the best man that I could possibly be. And it just failed for whatever reason, you know, but I'm not going to sit around point blame and point fingers. I'm just going to take it on the chin and utilize whatever lessons, right, that I was being taught during this very trying time to make sure that I am continuing to blossom, grow, you know, elevate, be more productive. Okay. And I love that. And another thing that I really loved about what he said was how it's all essentially a quote unquote blessing in disguise. You know, it's so much beauty that you can take away from very ugly situations. And so I can only hope that so many more of you all are doing that as well. Okay, and loving on yourself. I really love that message as well. But let's continue. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Fellas, y'all let me know. Can y'all relate to this? Hit the like. Getting divorced was the best thing that ever happened to me. And I want to tell you why you should also think the same way if you're going through the same type of shit. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> he just jumped right in. He said, I'm going to tell you why getting a divorce was the best thing that ever happened to me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But see, again, I have to say this. As somebody that would love for families and relationships to stick together and last, I can't help but to be proud and be happy for these men by, you know, finding the silver lining in such miserable, tough, hard situations, you know? So I got to salute them for that. But nonetheless, <laughs> I still want to utilize 
their very turbulent times as a teachable situation for all of us to learn from. But let's take that back <laughs> and continue. Hold on. And again, y'all like the, the video. Getting divorced was the best thing that ever happened to me. And I want to tell you why you should also think the same way if you're going through the same type of shit. Because in the beginning and at first, it does not feel like the best thing. But I promise you it can be and it should be. Because if you guys were supposed to be together, you still would be. Watch this whole thing. I'm going to shift your mindset and get you through this shit. And if you need help, follow me on Instagram at Mindset Master Mike. DM me free PDF. I will send you something to help change your life. So it was a really messy, slow divorce. Most relationships, they don't snap and just end. They bend and they bend and they bend and then eventually they break. And in the end, I found out she was cheating on me and it was a fucking mess. So at first I was devastated, which is natural. And I'm sure you've been there too. Or if you're going through it, you feel that way as well. But if you could stop and look inside and realize this is a new beginning, what do you truly want out of life? Make a plan, set goals, and then chase them. I was out of shape. I had a shitty mindset. And I decided that, fuck this, I'm going to get back in shape. And I'm going to fix my mind and I'm going to live the life that I want to live. I was confident that I was going to meet a much better woman who's a better fit for me in my life after I first evolve and take care of myself and level up. Now I'm here helping other guys get over the same shit. I'm helping people get in shape and I'm making a difference in people's lives. I'm helping them do the same thing that I did for myself. And I would have never been here if it wasn't for the divorce. Sometimes what does not work out for you really works out for you. Think long term, see the bigger picture, know that this is not the end, it is now the new beginning. Wow. Now he said a mouthful. And I again have to applaud him for him taking a very, like I said, heartbreaking, tough situation and making the best out of it. He said that his woman cheated on him. And he said it was a very slow and messy divorce, but he was able to, again, take his power back and pour a lot of, you know, that love, that care, that support, that nurturing into himself so that he could level up and become the best version of himself. And another thing that I really loved about what he said was he made it a point to focus on himself first. He didn't initially go into, you know, a new relationship to try to get over his last relationship. And I feel like men and women can make that mistake, especially when we're going through something very um, taxing on us. It's like, OK, well, let me just hop into something else to take my mind off of this toxicity or, you know, the battle that I'm facing. And so I'm loving the fact that so many of these men are not just hopping into new relationships, trying to find new women to distract themselves, but they're actually paying attention to what's going on with them. What's going on with me internally? What can I do to level myself up, make myself be better, more improved, more evolved, you know, make myself be a, a great man so that when the next woman does come into my life, I'm good for her as well as myself. You know, they're not making it this thing to where they're only fixated and focused on another woman. No, I'm focused on me. And if another woman comes to my life, well, I know that she's going to be the best fit for my life because I'm going to be the best version of myself so that I can be able to determine if she's worthy of my energy or not. So let me put it like this, y'all. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I still got a few more clips to show y'all and then we gonna get into it. But long story short, I love how these men are saying, look, I'm going to pour into me. Not a new relationship, not a new woman, me. I'm going to give myself the love. I'm going to give myself the care. I'm going to give myself the attention so that I can blossom and grow into the divine supreme man that I know that I am capable of being. I will not allow this situation to destroy me. So with me pouring all of this into me to make myself the better version of myself, I know moving forward that anybody that I allow into my life will deserve to be there. Why? Because now I'm in this state of mind of saying, you know what? This is not good for me. This is good for me. So you're going to be a lot more wise with the selection. You're not just going to allow any old female to come into your life. 
You're not just going to allow any old woman to come into your life and demand a, a certain type of relationship. And, no, because now you're at this position to where you're fully aware of who you are, what your value is, and you will not accept anything less than what your value is. So I love that these men are doing that. And again, salute to y'all. And I hope y'all could follow what I'm saying, but I had to throw that in there and break that down because that was very, very key, okay? Focusing on yourself and your de development, improvement, progression, and all of that, that is key to everything. Because once you're good, you're gonna make sure that everything and everybody around you is good. And everything and anything that enters into your life is good. You're not just going to be willy nilly with allowing any old thing to be a part of your universe. So salute to you guys for doing that. Okay. But let's continue and y'all get the likes up. Again, you all, are we seeing the common themes? The men are prioritizing themselves. They're taking care of themselves. Look at this. Let's read what the captions say. It says, divorced after 10 years of marriage. I struggled. Uh, it says, appreciated a new space. So now he's you know, building himself back up. We see that he's furnishing this beautiful new home and he's taking care of his mental health, you know, and everything. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. Allowed myself to grieve. I love that as well. You know, these guys are so mature about how they are progressing forward. I have got to continue to highlight that. You know, it's like, look, I'm allowing myself to go through the motions. If I feel sad, if I feel angry, if I feel defeated, I'm going to allow myself to feel those things. But then I'm going to get up and I'm going to do something about it. I'm not just going to soak in that energy. So I, I love that. Let's continue. It says, I gave myself grace. Gave myself permission to heal. Attended therapy. It says, started to journal heavily to get my thoughts out of my head. Began to learn and unlearn. Sat with myself. Uh, it says, I struggle sometimes. I don't know what that really says, but it's looking like he's just taking time to himself to, you know, think, to ponder, you know, go through again, whatever emotions that he's going through. And he's also admitting that sometimes that was a struggle. It was a struggle sometimes to just be with myself, but I allowed myself to go through that. And again, fellas, let me know if y'all can relate to this. It says, spent lots of time to myself and relearned myself. That's beautiful. It says, I took time away from social media. Yeah, and sometimes you need that just to kind of clear all of your mind from distractions, stuff like that, so you can really sit with what's really going on in your life. So you can fully digest everything that's going on, you know. Became more conscious and aware and love myself properly. Are y'all seeing the common themes? 
the common themes of a lot of these guys are I'm loving myself. I'm loving myself through this. I'm giving myself, you know, the patience. I'm giving myself the care. I love that common theme, y'all. Salute to y'all. It says grateful for it all as I continue to do the work. So it's an ongoing thing. He says, I'm grateful for it all as I continue to do the work. I'm not just going to allow myself to be broken, to be angry and bitter like the guy at the beginning said. No, I'm going to feel what I feel and then I'm going to heal. Love that. I heard we were sharing before and after divorce photos. Desperado. Sitting in a whole money car. So this brother here, after his divorce and after his breakup, decided to level himself all the way up. And can I say this, y'all? And I don't mean to be rude about this, but oftentimes it's the woman that you're with that is holding you back. It's the woman that you're with that is poisoning you, depleting you, draining you. And so you have to get rid of that negative heavy dead weight so that you can get rid of your negative heavy dead weight and this brother literally did that and can i also point this out i think it's very important to highlight the fact that with a lot of these brothers taking their breakups in the manner that they're taking their breakups i think it's kind of safe to assume that they were probably not the problem you know what i mean now i could be wrong but for a man to be this mature, a man to evolve this much, to take this level of accountability and responsibility, I can only assume that these are the type of men that are taking matters into their own hands. They're not blaming anybody. It's like, you know what? I chose to involve myself with this person and I'm just going to learn from that situation versus letting it hinder me. You know, so I have to say that. Bella, sometimes it's that woman that is keeping you from your progression. Sometimes it's that woman that's hindering you from your dreams and reaching your goals, keeping you lazy, stuck and stagnant, you know? But look at this brother. Let's blow it up. And fellas, again, how many of y'all can relate to this? Once you left your party, did you have a glow up? Did you start, you know, getting into the gym, eating healthier, practicing more self-love? Y'all let me know. Look at him. Okay, I see you, sir. <laughs> we see you. Okay, we see you. Now, this woman here, she says something that is very eye opening, if you will. And salute to the women out there that are not afraid to tell the truth. You don't care about fitting in with a sisterhood. You don't care about receiving backlash. You're going to be open and honest and transparent by any means necessary. And if that makes you the black sheep, then by golly, you're the black sheep. But I had to throw her in here as well. Just to let you brothers know what really is going on behind the scenes while y'all are out here glowing up after the breakup. I got to give props where props are due. Good job, men, on how you guys fucking, what, how you guys roll after relationship. Like, women, they will fuck, get all dressed up and, like, put themselves on a yacht with a bunch of old dudes and then, like, like it's awesome, bitch. And the shit's, like, they don't even work on themselves. But guys will take that negative energy, that bullshit from that relationship, and they will progress it forward into something better and something good so in the long term they end up better off and she's just posting these photos and trust me from a girl who hangs with girls and has hung out with girls the most unfun nights are when you're all fucking dressed up because it's just the most lamest nights you know the most fun nights ever are the, the unplanned one when you look like absolute shit and you get no photos because you were having way too much fun so Guys, if your girl just broke up with you and she's posted all these photos at the club, she's not having fun. I'll tell you that right the fuck now. 
that is the truth. Just no one has fun and takes photos. What the fuck? Like, think about it. When you are having the most fun of your life, are you taking photos and posting them? No, you're not. It's the dumbest shit. Well, told you so. See, your little big sister right here, I have never lied to you, okay? When I tell y'all I am behind the scenes, checking the scene, and these women are not all cracked up to what they seem, bars, I was not telling that to pacify you and pander to you and make you feel good. No, it's the truth. A lot of these women recognize their mistakes and they are highly regretful and they're highly remorseful. You know, do y'all really believe that when these women are leaving behind perfectly good families and perfectly good men that they're okay after that? No, they are not. Okay, so they have to get on social media and fake the funk like they're so happy and they're so good without you and I'm living my best life because they have to save face. They're trying to make themselves look like they were not the problem. You know what I'm saying? So take it from her as well. Okay, the ladies are absolutely fronting and stunting. Living for sides is not real. Okay, when you fumble a good man, you fumbled a good life. Okay, and these women absolutely realize that. Okay, and I love that she actually brought up the fact that the men are actually um, putting their best foots forward. Whereas women, it's like, well, let me just hop outside to make it seem like I'm okay. No, these men in these clips alone were showcasing the fact that no, I'm not okay. I cried. I've had my very dark moments. However, I did not choose to stay there. I didn't soak there. I used that as fuel and ammunition to build myself back up. And that is why a lot of the men end up coming out bigger and better than, than, than ever. These women could not hold a candle to these men. Why? Because the men are actually doing the self-work. Y'all are not out here trying to pretend like you all bossed up and, you know, you all leveled up and you having a good time and you're okay. No, you're going through whatever you're going through, but you're not making that be the, the state that you're stuck in. And so y'all do come out bigger and better. And salute to y'all, all right? Like the brother said in the video, it's not the end. It's just a new beginning. Make the best of it. I know it, in the moment it can seem like, you know, it is just the, the, the worst thing ever, but it's not. You have to pick yourself back up. And a lot of y'all do. But I look forward to seeing what y'all got to say in the comments. Can you relate to any of these guys? Um, do you agree with the woman in the video? Okay. Have you all peeped the game on a lot of women fronting and stunting and pretending like they're happy and they're really not? Y'all let me know. Okay. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing what you got to say. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And remember, fellas, keep your head up. It only gets better. We out.